Not many people can say they're ready to retire at the age of 30, but that is exactly the plan for rapper Bow Wow. After an almost 17 year career, it looks like the hip hop star is prepared now to walk away. He's the rapper that burst onto the scene at just 13 years old. But he started way before that, at the ripe young age of six. Bow Wow, formerly known as Lil Bow Wow, is now a seasoned vet of the hip hop scene. So much so that he says he's now ready to drop the mic and retire from the world that made him famous. We TV's Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta follows Bow Wow, AKA Shad Moss, as he finishes his seventh and final studio album that's set to drop later this year. I'm finishing this project out, JD. Now with wrapping in the rear view, what does the future hold for Bow Wow? And joining me now is Bow Wow himself. Thank you so much for oh, joining man, us and being here, man. So this is, this is surprising to a lot of your fans because you've had so much success and you're mm -hmm. only 30 years old. Yeah. Why quit rapping? Oh, I got lazy. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I got lazy. I think um, once I started the, the hosting and you know when I did 106 in Park and I hosted that for BET for two years and then after that stint, that opened up a lot of doors for myself and then CSI, they came calling and you know, we were just talking about how I moved from New York to LA. <clears throat> that was four years in television and I'm not gonna lie, like the money was incredible. So I was like, you know, why overwork myself to do something that I've been doing my whole life and I haven't been acting my whole life, I haven't been hosting my whole life, but these are things that I'm just natural and I really love. So I just said, you know what, let's focus on that and leave that there, but now I'm back and I'm, I'm not going All right, around. so you leave the music off to the side for now at least, for now, yeah, a yeah, chance yeah. maybe one day come oh, back? Oh no, it's back, that new album's done. Uh, don't have a release date yet, the singles are picked out and in place, so I'm, I'm working. All right, so you recently made some headlines too, making some remarks about Kim Kardashian. So we want to yeah, set the record straight. Yeah, yeah, because Did you thing, guys date? One, I'm gonna say this, one thing about me is no matter what I say, people always take it and they run off with it. Like, I can say something and read the headline, I'm like, yo, why did y'all word it like that? Like, like it was recent. Um, it was just at a point in my life, we were cool. And, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for Ye. I know Ye personally. Um, my friend Tracy Mills, we're all, we're all boys, and it was just a long time ago. And she was just a cool person. She still is sweet, talented, um, her sister, everybody. So I, just, I, I have a lot of respect and a lot of love for Kim, but that was so long ago. And I, one thing about me, is I respect the hustler. She's a go-getter. Mm. You know, she's a go-getter. We talked about Kim K being a go-getter. You're a go-getter, too. I really appreciate hey, it, brother. Thanks you so much for it, being bro. here. No problem. Awesome time Thanks, having man. you. We wish you the best. The season finale of Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta airs tonight at 9 p.m. on WeTV. More Daily Mail TV when we come back.